women we've been told to sit in the back or, or don't be too loud or you won't be liked. Composed of prominent women such as State Senator Alessandra Biaggi, New York State Assembly members Karina Reyes and Nathalia Fernandez, and Deputy Borough President Marika Scott McFadden, the Bronx Borough President's Office held a panel to speak about prominent issues women face. Even though there are men in the room who are talking about this, it always is driven by the women at the table. Likeability is something New York State Assemblywoman Nathalia Fernandez knows all too well. She says being liked is just one of the few annoyances that isn't a big factor for her male counterparts. Counterparts. It was really annoying that when it came time to, to campaign that I was told to smile more. You look nicer if you smile. And I'm like, my opponent's not smiling. My opponent is, you know, the one stomping his foot, waving his hand in the air, getting angry at the system, saying we need to change it. But if I do that, then it's I come off as unlikable. The panel discussed navigating through the workforce, receiving equal pay and adequate health care in areas such as women's reproductive health, a topic that continues to circulate amongst those in Congress. We were debating the Reproductive Health Act and the CCCA, and I sat there in disbelief of some of the comments that were being said by um, a lot of the men, particularly. Um, and for me, there was a lot of misinformation. So when I hear men stand up and, you know, very matter-of-factly talk about um, a woman's body and how things happen in operating rooms that don't really happen because I've been in operating rooms, it's my profession, um, and you hear all these people that don't have a medical background and, and can really sway how, how legislature, legislature um, and legislation affects us, it's, it's scary. Audience members, such as Barbara Gibson LeGrant, has seen women transform into leadership positions throughout her lifetime. She believes events like these reaffirm women of their worth, not only in the Bronx, but worldwide. Today is a special day because my mother would have loved to have been at something like this. I don't usually tell my age, but I am 79 years of age, and I have seen how we have grown and now this is a woman's world. I am a W-O-M-E-N woman of the Boogie Down Bronx. Reporting for BronxNet, Darissa White.